almost every single mobile app you build needs a backend. And a backend is an architecture that uh, consists of one or multiple servers um, running your server-side scripts that perform some complex business logic for your app. And uh, these scripts, uh, they will store mobile app data in a database, for example. They will read this data back from database and return it to your mobile application. Uh, push notifications, for example, are being broadcast from server-side scripts. And in my next few videos, I'm going to share with you how to quickly set up a very simple uh, server-side backend for your mobile app. And uh, we will um, launch a small Linux server on uh, Amazon Cloud, and we will learn how to connect to it uh, to install additional software like MySQL uh, database server and PHP, uh, for example, and how to connect uh, to your uh, server via FTP file transfer protocol to upload um, PHP scripts to it and how to stop and start it when you need because the beauty of having a server in the cloud is uh, it is on demand when you need it you start it when you don't need it you can uh, stop it uh, and uh, don't pay for it anything okay so uh, let's go ahead I will uh, share with you in the description um, to this video a link to this page that I have uh, currently opened it's Amazon Web Services and these are instructions on how to set up um, an Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 uh, that um, is one of Amazon Web Services which allows you to start and uh, to configure and start your own Linux or Windows machines and um, this on, on this page, you can learn how to set up your Amazon account, how to create identification access manager user, how to create uh, access key pairs and, and so on. You, you will learn here uh, about more about instances, monitoring, network security and storage and, and, and so on. And um, but in, in, I will do explain uh, to you the basics of it because Amazon Cloud is huge if i go to amazon web services uh, dashboard you'll see that uh, it is on my screen right now uh, there's so many services uh, um, ec2 is the one we will use for uh, uh, to, to launch instance um, compute instance uh, and their mobile services and their application services and their database services uh, there are different developers tools there's there is just so much Anyways, so um, for you to set up a, a new Amazon uh, server, uh, you will need to have a, an Amazon Web Services account. I will not uh, go through it, how to set it up, but simply click on sign up for Amazon uh, Web Services and uh, just follow on the steps and create yourself an account. Uh, I will also not go through a process of creating new um uh, IAM uh, user which stands for identification access manager user because you can uh, you can create and launch your Amazon uh, server um, using your Amazon Web Services account it's not necessary to have one account with uh, IAM but Amazon recommends uh, to have one so um, it's up to you you can do it now or you can do it later uh, and it's a very simple process. Simply follow the steps one, two, three, four, and create a new user uh, for you to access your Amazon Web Services dashboard. Again, you can access this dashboard with your Amazon Web Services account, or as Amazon recommends, you can create a new account uh, with Identity Access Manager. And having that Identity Access Manager user, you can access the same dashboard. Uh, okay, and um, creating key pair, we will uh, also not do um, right now. We will do it when we install the instance. Um, you must have it because Amazon instance does not have a password and you will need uh, to use a key pair to access your server in the cloud in a secure way. Uh, we will use it to access the server via SSH, for example, or via when we want to upload files. Uh, and we will, uh, we will not touch uh, virtual private cloud, but we will talk a little about the security group. 
um, because a security group is something that we must have. It's a kind of firewall that allows us to connect uh, to our server through FTP or SSH or HTTP. And at the same time, we can disallow someone to connect to our server through all uh, these protocols. So it's very good to have. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and learn how to set up and launch our own Amazon Linux server that will serve as a server side um, backend for our mobile app application. Uh, so you can pause this video now to sign up for Amazon Web Services and uh, then uh, switch to uh, Amazon Web Services console. And the next step you will need to do is to go to EC2, Compute Cloud. 